Do you want to rock in long said you're still not quite 100%? What's that next hurdle for you where you want your body to feel or what you'd be able to do to be 100%? Uh, just being more comfortable. You know, um, I think the toughest part of coming back from injury is just in your mind, you feel like it's it, like it was before, but you just got to get back to where you can do everything where it's instinctive instead of thinking about it. Uh, no, nah, it's just normal ankle injury. You know, it lingers a little bit. You gotta. The hardest part is you can't stay off of it during the season because you gotta get back and as fast as you can. So it just kind of lingered on, but it's getting better now. Looks like you're moving around pretty well against Colorado State, but is there like that last little burst that is preventing you from doing? Uh, when I was out there, I didn't really think about it too much. You know, I pretty much everything I was doing was just like I felt like I've done before. So I just get more comfortable out there. Did you miss this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> what are the challenges, respectively, facing the offense and the defense when facing this Wyoming team? What do you see there? Uh, for the offensive side, you know, they're going to kind of like us, you know, they're going to run the ball and, you know, they're not going to stop running the ball. You know, if, if we know the play, they're going to do it anyway. So I feel like that's probably the thing that they similar like do as us, you know, because we're going to run it and we don't care if you know we're going to run it. So they just want us to stop it. So it's going to be a good game, I mean, for our defense. So. I just can't wait for it to happen. And on defense, you know, it's they're kind of used to it, just like we're used to it. You know, they, they go against their offense in practice, and we go against our defense in practice. So, you know, being physical is something they're not uh, shying away from. You know, they're going to come downhill and bring all 11 guys to the ball. So we just got to go out there. And I think we just got to be sound with our techniques and, uh, you know, make some plays when we get the opportunity. What's it like playing against your defense, especially as well as they've been playing? Oh, it's tough, you know. Um, we don't, you don't realize um, how good they are in the, in the off season just by because you know they're regular guys. We see them sure. every day, you know, hang out with them. But you know, when it gets to the season time, you see how good they are. It, it really, you know, it's a it's a shock to you. Just you know, when they got the number one run defense in the nation and, and we run the ball a lot, and, you know, we get to pick up a few yards here and there in practice. So it, I actually feel better about it now that I'm looking back and see how much we did in the off season against them. Oh, you know, just for the defense, I think the main thing with Kiava is just being an a example for everybody else. You know, he's going to be the start and stop of the defense. You know, if he's going out there and has a lot of energy, I think they feed off of him. And I think that's what he does best each and each game. You know, he, he leads them on and off the field and just lets everybody know that, you know, there's a high standard to uh, come up to. And, you know, as a roommate, it's almost the same thing, and you, you know, uh, I've never been really late to any workouts or anything like that just because Kiyah's my room. He always knocking on my door in the morning time, making sure we're getting up ready to go and um, just being goofy and stuff. So, you know, it's been fun living with him and uh, playing on the field with him. Kiyah, is there anything you've done to help him heal? Do you do the dishes or help him uh, <laughs> to the couch or anything like that? Uh, no. <laughs> you know, I, uh, I did a couple things for him. He probably won't admit it, but uh, – you know, most mostly I just I always just kept him up, kept him in good spirits, trying to just encourage him always, you know, because it's a hard deal, you know, dealing with injury when you just want to play football. So, I mean, I just pray for him a lot, and, you know, I had my family pray for him just to get back and just get a quick uh, recovery. Kiawa, did you think you'd be this good on defense? Coach said you have to wait till the end of the year to evaluate, but uh, at this I mean, point, what do you think? Uh, I, 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 I still think, like, we're better than what we are, honestly. I mean, I feel like that we can just get so much better, you know, and our, our, our ability to get so much better is just, just out the window, you know, because uh, we still have guys that are still developing and still, you know, coming along. So I feel like if we just put all that together, I mean, we're going to be a scary defense. Kevin, you continued to impress on, on defense last year and this year. How comfortable and confident do you feel out there? And, and what kind of work have you been putting in to continue to consistently be good? I've been putting in a lot of work. I mean, on the offseason, you know, like I told you guys, I've uh, just been in San Diego just trying to get the bond with my teammates and just make them feel more comfortable, you know, because uh, how we played last year wasn't up to our standard. So, I mean, uh, in every game, I'm always nervous. I'm, I'm never, you know, just that confident guy. I'm always going into the game nervous, you know, with butterflies because you never know what's going to happen. You never know how you're going to perform. You know, you just want to perform the best way that you can because, you, you know, everyone else is looking up to you as a leader. So you got to go out there and do your part and play the best that you can play.
Have either of you guys seen anything like what Luke Barku did uh, against Colorado State, and, and how fun was that to watch? Uh, I've never seen that. It was the first time I've seen that, especially playing on the same team as a person. That I've, you know, I've probably seen some highlights, but you know, especially being on offense, you're happy because you get the ball, the ball right back, and you know, it's almost a surprise because you're like. Uh, we just sitting down on the bench, and you know we're probably talking over some things that we want to see. And the next thing you know, everybody's cheering. You see, we're about to get the ball back, so it's kind of like, dang, and we didn't get a break. But, <laughs> but it was kind of cool to see. You know, I was excited for him, and you know, because I think at the beginning of the game, um, I was like, Barku, I need one, and he ended up giving me three, so <laughs> it was kind of cool. Yeah. You guys freshman year, do you guys remember when Demonte Casey had three picks in a game? Oh yeah, I remember that. Yeah. You guys have any similarities you can drop on those two? It was almost similar. I think for me, uh more of you know, I was I was real young coming in and um you just hear about how good these guys are and you haven't really seen them play and it's just practicing for for him to go out there and act and I actually saw him do it, it was just like, man, like he's really as good as everybody was saying and you know, I just it was I was able to look up to him even more. Yeah. yeah. When you lose a, a guy like Kyrie, I mean, being a captain, you, you just kind of pull everybody in and say, hey, next, next man up? Or? No, yeah, I mean, that's what we preach is next man up. But I mean, uh, losing Kyrie was a hard deal, you know. Uh, when I heard the news, you know, it was kind of hard for me to just even eat because, you know, that's like one of my brothers, you know. Uh, just for him to go down as a senior, you know, because he, he obviously is like a leader in the back end, you know, of the defense. So just for him to go down, I, I think that pretty much hurt the whole team, you know, just to see one person go down that means so much to the team, you know, that, that put so much work in for the team. So uh, it was a hard deal, I mean, but uh, next man up is what we preach, and I'm sure the next man is going to do great. Kiara, what do you think has been the key to your defense this year? Uh, just the philo uh, philosophy we have, you know, that's, our, that's one of our philosophies to keep them out of the end zone. Uh, so, uh, we, we've been preaching that since the offseason, and uh, I think our team really have took to it, you know, just keep them out of the end zone no matter what, no matter how. Uh, so even if, uh, like that drive they had against Colorado State, if it was 97 yards, you know, we got to chunk it down and just stop them. Did you guys see uh, Cam Kelly get his first NFL pick, and did you guys reach out to him at all after that? Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, I talked to him, and uh, – I was I was excited for him. I wasn't too excited because Lamar Jackson is my fantasy quarterback. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I was I was just excited to see how far he's come along and uh, you know just seeing him make plays out there. Anytime the guy like develops like he did and goes out there and on the big stage and makes some big plays, it was fun.